So I'm probably gonna butcher this, but I'm at the Jera Wangala lookout. Now this is seriously cool. Look at that. That looks sick. <laughs> Straight up. Right, so starting this one off a little bit differently. I'm in the patrol and it's a public holiday and I did not want to stay home. So I'm gonna do a bit of a day trip, bit of a last minute thing, but it's all good. So I've got this book which I used for the Chichester State Forest trip. That was a long time ago. And I wanted to do something. So I had a look in here and um, ended up going to Wandian, which is just past Nara. It's like two and a, I think it's about two hours just past Sydney, um, down from Sydney on the South Coast. And yeah, so we're gonna check it out. I have absolutely no clue what we're gonna end up doing, but just me um, and yeah, time to have some fun enjoy my day off. Yo. So, just got off the highway behind me and this is the first time the patrol's actually gonna be in the dirt, so pretty keen. <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult to get footage because it's so bloody bumpy, but we'll see how this goes. Yo. I'm probably gonna butcher this, but I'm at the Jera Wangala lookout and it is bloody awesome. There's like a lake, I don't know if you can see all the way there, and the ocean's just behind that. Really cool spot. So I might also butcher this name, but this is Tianjara Falls. It's like natural waterfall there because of all the rain we've had. And yet again, really nice view. Now this is seriously cool. That's where it's flowing from. Waterfall's just down there. That's the edge. And this is the view that you get. So good. Managed to walk down a bit further. Got to the actual river bit. Waterfall's just over there. Look how clear the water is though. It's crystal clear. That's so nice. Right, so got a little bit of an issue at the moment. So I've got my map here, and um, I was here, so Tianjara Falls Lookout, and I wanted to go down here, but that road is closed, so I'm gonna try and go back through here and come down and see if this side's open or not. Fingers crossed it is. You guys can see that, but he's so steep through here. And it's very narrow, it's drop off right there. Pretty cool. Look how cool this thing is. So I just came down from here. These rocks are huge. The camera doesn't do it justice, but like, we're all the way down here. And this thing is massive. Now this is bloody cool in here. It's like its own little cave and giant rocks falling down well i did want to come down this way just for a bit of an explore but if you can spot the problem yeah ain't gonna happen but apart from that it's always some type of waterfall around which is pretty cool it's like the fourth one i've seen it's just a little one goes down there and somewhere down there back to it not gonna lie I really badly want to go up there. That's a lot steeper than it looks, but don't have a winch and I'm by myself. And uh, yeah, so I made the adult decision not to go up that way, but it does look pretty cool. So I got to get that winch sorted and try stuff like this, because that'll be fun. And we'll do stuff like this next time. That, that looks sick. <laughs> Straight up. Just gotta wait for the winch. Other tracks ended up being.
being closed, but to a quick trip to Lime's Beach. So we're close enough. It's still really nice here though. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but it was a last minute thing. So it's a lot of fun, which was good. Um, and I reckon I'll be back to try some more of those tracks that I was too scared to go up <laughs> without a winch. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.